pagtindo. Praise God sa toong atagaan na masigabong nga palakpak ng mga kusin ng Diyos.
ng itong mga mata, mga kaisuna. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Dalay kong kaso, dalay katapusan. Gino, yes. Lord Jesus, you are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords. You are the Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. You are the mind. We are the branches, Lord Jesus. Without you, Lord, we can do nothing, Lord God. So, anihan naman kami, sini nga kapuntagong, nagapaubos sa mong kagalingon na Diyos. Wala kami kasarang, dihasi mo at tubangan, di mo ang atapos. Ang matagusa ka na mo, O Diyos, tinuhin mo kasing-kasing, ang mga pangatahur na, dihasi mo at tubangan, Lord Jesus, bisa pa man sa mga pagsugod. Ikaw, Ginoo, Lord, mga mabatsyag pa tayo sa mga presensya, mga puno. Sa matagusa ka na mo, o sa mga Espiritu Santo, kaya kung wala ikaw, O Diyos, wala kami sa nang mahimok na na, tumuhin Pinagyo sa tuwang opening at ang katangon, hatag at ang pag-ahatagan.
of Apostolic Fire Church. Give me five na palakpak. And after that, after that give me five na palakpak. Sabay-sabay tayo. And after that, we will shout Jesus. Okay, as I count, one, two, three. One. What one, 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 two, three, five. Jesus! Okay, please be seated. Again, uh, it's an honor to be here, to be a lecturer of our first uh, a subject on our second day uh, sa ating uh, first general conference. At ako po'y nakapasalamat sa ating Panginoon na, na we have this uh, wonderful na topic that the Lord God wanted to feed us. At uh, alam niyo po ba, the title of our lecture today is uh, Loyalty and this loyalty. This must be included uh, in our in our I mean, isa ito sa mga subject or lesson na dapat natin malaman. Why? Because this is a requirement. Everybody say requirement. requirement. Kasi I've seen here in the AFC na maraming magagaling na, na preacher. Magal, maraming magagaling na, na mga lecturer. Maraming magagaling na mga, na mga potential leaders. Uh, but this is a requirement na most of, of the potential leaders and aspiring leaders of AFC are being failed in this kind of subject which is loyalty. Even in the Old Testament, uh, way back thousand years ago, Maraming magagaling na mga right hand ng mga hari. Maraming magagaling na mga na mga mandirigma. Subalit pagdating sa loyalty, they fail. And today, uh, this morning, we have to study and I do hope everyone will cooperate. Everyone must listen. Kasi kung hindi ka magkikinig, masasayang lang yung panahon. And for sure, you will be in danger. And you will never stay long in AFC kung hindi ka papasa sa subject na ito. Bakit subject? Kasi even if you are good in preaching, you are anointed in preaching, you're good enough in music, pag binigyan ka ng, ng tests or trials, when it comes to loyalty, baka ito ang iyong kapapagsak, mga kapatid. So we'll start. What is uh, loyalty? Okay, uh, loyalty is the quality of. Makita niyo sa sa screen. Yeah. So loyalty is the quality of being loyal, or a strong feeling, or support, or allegiance. Ibig sabihin loyal ka. Kung sa uh, I don't know what's the inongo or Tagalog. And a strong feeling grabe ang iyong uh, uh, support. So this will require not a 99% support, not a 90% support. This require dapat 100 full support. Bakit? Sabi ni Jesus Christ, love the Lord your God with all your heart. With all your strength. With all your soul. So wala sinabi si Jesus Christ na mahalin niyo ako ng 90%, ng 99%, and He is requiring dapat 100%. So ano ba talaga ang loyalty? This is the quality of being loyal or a strong feeling of support or allegiance. Ngayon, meron po tayo dito mga, mga limang lessons or more na dapat nating matutunan sa umagang ito. And, and uh, I do hope you will take down notes and uh, right after this lecture, you will study there inside your your room or, or tents or sa pag-uwi after the camp, you will you will uh, paulit-ulit na pag-aralan and then I do hope that there is an application. At ang makabenefit po dito ay ikaw, ang iyong pastor, at ang Matutuwa dito ang ating Panginoon. Amen, Amen to God. Let's clap our hands to Jesus Christ. So, kailangan po ng loyalty sa bawat lahat. 
lalaki, babae, pastor, associate leader, church worker, uh, ginagamit sa pulpit, musicians. Kasi again, as I said a while ago, it is a requirement. Requirement, pastabi requirement, no face mask, no entry. No vaccine card. Uh, I, I don't know right now, parang open na yata sa lahat. Pag wala kang vaccine, you could travel. But those time of pandemic, pag walang vaccine card, you are not allowed to travel. So first lesson here that we'd like to, to study today, number one, uh, again, loyalty demands full persuasion. Lahat magsabing pakibasa ko, that, that. Again, ang loyalty, kailangan niya ng buong persuasion. So what does persuasion mean? Anong ibig sabihin ng persuasion? Again, persuasion means panghihikaya. The action or fact of persuading someone or of being persuaded to do or believe something. Anybody makakaintindi ng ganitong salita, persuasion, please raise your hand. Okay? Sa mga hindi makakaintindi ng meaning ng persuasion, please be honest, please raise your hand. Okay, lahat makakaintindi. Okay. So itong loyalty number one, kailangan niya ng full persuasion. Ibig sabihin ng persuasion, panghihikaya. So, para maintindihan po ng lahat, okay, ang loyalty, praise God, you must fully convince in your heart about anything you are involved in. Okay. Uh, kung ikaw ay mag, uh, may pangarap na maging associate pastor, if you wanted to be a church worker, if you wanted to be a preacher, if you wanted to be a musician, you have to make sure na yung leader, na yung susundan that you're going to follow, are you sure 100% na siya maging leader mo? So to be a committed member of a ministry team requires what I can full persuasion. So if you're going to be loyal sa inyong pastor, if you're going to be loyal into an organization, again, you will have to be sure about it. Because Apostle Paul says you have to search the truth day and night. In the book of Joshua, we have to meditate by word day and night. So, requirement po sa isang estudyante, we are all students. Kahit Pasko ka na, we must consider ourselves as a student. Kasi bilang teacher, we are a forever learner, kapatid. So, ang punto po is, because of the doctrine that sa further na pag-aaral, I just realized, that I have to stand on the truth. And then there are some humors na ganito yung leader ng AFC, ganito yung ganyan, all the negatives, kagaya yung sinabi ng ating pastor during the devotion early morning na we have to focus or set our minds on positive things, not on negative things. So again, uh, I heard some negative words, negative feedbacks, but because of the conviction of the Holy Ghost, my dikta ang Holy Ghost, and I will follow uh, the voice of the Holy Ghost that I will go further in AFC Church, kapatid. So, ibig sabihin, kung, kung ikaw ay nilagay ng Panginoon na iyong pastor, as si Pastor Joey, at marami negatibo ang tao na sabi sa kanya, ganito si Pastor Joey, ganito ang kanyang mga kahinaan, ganito ang kanyang mga weakness, ganito ang mga problema. Again, pag ikaw, hallelujah, I convinced that your pastor is the man of God, you are 100% persuasive to follow him because of loyalty. Kapatid. So I don't care about the negative na tinatapot ni Pastor Ronnie, maraming nagsabi ganito, but I am 100% persuasive to be an AFC church because of the word loyalty. Yes. Kapatid, palapakan natin ang ating pangyayon. Again, pag ang tao ay huminto sa ministry, hihinto din ang mga negatibong tagay against the person. Pero pag ang tao ay naglilingkod sa Panginoon, 
faithful and loyal in serving God, we cannot avoid all those negative humors, or rumors, I mean kapatid, and feedback, because even our Lord Jesus Christ, He was also a victim, and then He received a lot and several na mga negative feedbacks. So ngayon, ang loyalty, it demands full persuasion. Are you ready ba? Nang yung pastor, si Pastor Rudyen, kahit sabihin natin na, na walang pinag-aralan, dapat Bible school siya. Dapat ganito ang church, malaking church. Bakit ganyan ang mga pastor sa AFC? Ba't andyan ka dito ka, malaking church to. Establish na ang daming mga mga system, kompleto, uh, all uh, night church. Bakit andyan kayo, walang bigting. Again, kapatid, hallelujah, if you have this, hallelujah, the full service persuasion, Kahit hindi man gamit ng Bible school, pero yung heart mo is, you believe on the voice and the conviction of the Holy Ghost. He is my pastor. He is my leader. I will fully support him. I will fully follow him. I will fully obey him because I have no guilty. Kapatid. So yun na kailangan. Loyalty demands full persuasion. The word demands, hindi po ito voluntarily. It is a must, kapatid. Hindi po ito sa pinitan, kapatid. Whether you like it or not, if you want to stay in the church, it demands full persuasion. Again, alam niyo po ba in the book of Luke, chapter 23, verse 2, Jesus was accused by many people. Sa 20th century New Testament, yung translation dyan is, He misleading our people. Mismo si Jesus Christ ay pinagkamalan na ginahaydo niya ang tao, mga taga-Israel. He was accused by many people of misleading the people and according to the four Gospels, uh, teaching our people sedition. Si Jesus nagatudlo ang wrong Doctrine. And according to 20th century New Testament, what will happen? So si Jesus Christ, He was accused by many people. Uh, he is misleading other people. At may mga negatibo talaga na feedback against Him. And, okay, ayan na, salamat po. And according to 20th century New Testament, it says there that Jesus was accused from preventing them from paying taxes to the emperor. So ibig sabihin, Ang ating Panginoong Jesus ay naka-experience na hindi lang ordinary na negative feedback, kundi napaka-mabigat na kaso. Ang kaso na ginahailo ang tao sa katotohanan. We believe that Jesus Christ came here on earth because He is the way, He is the truth, and He is the life. However, the people na Kanyang pinuntahan, Although ang kanyang major na purpose is to save the people from their sins, so balit, baliktad po ang accusation. Ang daming miracles ng ating Panginoon na ginawa, and then, pero ang tao ay not convinced, pero binasagal pa rin si Jesus na ganito. Misleading, teaching our people sedition, at the same time preventing them from paying taxes to the emperor. Again, next, According to New Testament in modern English, telling them that it is wrong to pay taxes. Another one, emphasized New Testament, claiming to be an anointed king. So again, in Luke 11 verse 15, Jesus was accused of being able to cast out devils, a devils, because he is, sabi dito, according to the New Testament in modern English, kung makita niyo po sa screen in Luke, with Belzebub, the chief of the evil spirits. Ulitin ko po. 
Ang ating Panginoong Yesus ay nabansaga na siya ang leader ng masasamang espiritu. Pag ang iyong pastor ay sinabihan na nagdadala ng maling doktrina, pag ang AFC Church ay binansaga ang erroneous doctrine, kapatid, hindi na kayo magtataka dahil mismo ang ating Panginoong Yesus, hallelujah, ay nakaranas din. Jesus Christ experienced this. You are a follower of Jesus Christ. Automatic po, kapatid, that you will also experience your leader, your general overseer will also experience that and the loyalty. Kasi minsan, makadinig ng negatibo, aalis sa church. Pag nakadinig ng negatibo, hindi na magbugno sa pastor. Pag nakadinig ng negatibo, hindi na mag-cooperate sa church. Pag nakadinig ng negatibo, again, kapatid, sad to say, masamang tao na ang pastor. But loyalty demands full persuasion, kapatid. The more na negatives na matitinig mo sa iyong pastor, you will remain loyal and standing in the church. The more negative that you heard about AFC, the more you will do full work to the ministry of Christ. Amen to that. Alam niyo po ba lahat ng mga apostles ng ating Panginoon na si Lord Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ had His earthly ministry here on earth for three and a half years. And then, sa mga 12 apostles, and then isa doon ay bumagsak pagdating sa loyalty. And his name is Judas the Iscariot. At pinagpalit ang ating Panginoon sa halagang 30 pieces of silver because he became disloyal. Pero kapatid, kahit mayroong disloyal out of 12, isa ang disloyal, there is always a replacement. In the book of Acts chapter 1, again, we believe that Jesus Christ replaced Judas the Iscariot to Matthias. Pinalitan. Kung hindi ka loyal, papalitan ka ng ating Panginoon. Kung hindi ka loyal, kapatid, huwag ka mag-alala. Papalitan ka ng ating Panginoon na higit pa sa iyo. Kaya nabuo pa rin yung 12 apostles. And then, Kompleto pa rin yung 12 apostles. Akala ni Judas Iscariot. Hallelujah! Na magaling pa or babagsak ang ministry ng ating Panginoon. But in the book of Acts chapter 2, papuntang verse chapter 28, lalong lumago ang church ng ating Panginoon at nagkaroon na pangalang Apostle Paul. Kapatid. And when it comes to the ministry of Apostle Paul, in the book of Acts 24, verse 5, at ito po ang kanyang naranasan. In the New Testament, in modern speech, Paul was accused of being a source of mischief. Ibig sabihin, siya yung, yung root, the word mischief, anybody can please raise your hand, uh, what is the meaning of mischief? Or... According to Berkeley version of the New Testament, a veritable plague, 20th century New Testament, a public pest. Grabe, no? Peste. Weyman uh, translation, he was a disturber of the peace. Siya ang nag-create kang labugay. Imbis na i-promote ang peace, siya ang nagpapasimuno ng kaguluhan sa kanilang panahon. And according to 20th century New Testament, he is the one who fear of disputers. Ibig sabihin ng disputers, uh, siya ay, ay trouble maker. Siya ay nag-create ng, 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 ng not a peaceful environment. Next, New Bible, New English Bible, he was a fermenter of discord. Ibig sabihin ng discord, itong cord na ito, this is a cord, if you will disconnect it, that is Discord. Ibig sabihin, instead of unity, instead na mag-unite, 
Si Paul daw, itong Apostle Paul, na student ng ating Panginoon, isa sa mga produkto ng mga apostoles ng ating Panginoon, Jesus Christ, binansagan siya na siya ang nagpro-promo ng discord or disunity sa kanilang panahon. Another one, in King James Version, he is a ring leader of the sect. Makikita ba sa likod? Wala pa pa natin ang ating Panginoon. Praise God. At the same time, in the, in the new uh, emphasized New Testament, also attempted to desecrate even the temple. And lastly, was attempting to make the temple unclean. Kapatid. So have you noticed, from Jesus Christ, He was falsely accused. He came here on earth to save His people from their sins, He came here on earth para iligtas ang lahat sa mga kasalanan pero pinaligtad ng mga tagabundo. Ang purpose is para iligtas. He is the Prince of Peace, sabi ni Prophet Isaiah. Prince of Peace. Pero ang mga tao sa mundo, siya ay hari ng mga tiyago. At hari na sumunod kay Jesus Christ, the Apostles, And that includes Apostle Paul. Siya ay binansagan din na hari. Siya ay papasimuno ng discord, ng disunity, ng trouble. But he is a follower of Jesus Christ. Kaya kapatid, hallelujah, kahit one month ka pa lang dito sa church. Kahit two months ka pa lang dito sa church. Kahit six months ka pa lang dito sa church. It doesn't mean, hallelujah, na hindi ka loyal. It doesn't mean na 10 years ka na loyal ka na kapatid. Again, loyalty will not base on how long you stay on the church, how short you stay on the church. It matters, it requires, it demands the full persuasion. Kahit one month ka pa lang kapatid, pero ikaw ay buo. Buo ang iyong paglilingkod, hindi 99%, hindi 98%, hindi 99.5%, kundi buo na susuporta kay pastor. Kahit negatibo, I love my pastor. I will support my pastor. I will obey my pastor. I will defend my pastor. I will remain in AFC. So if you decide to stay on AFC, Since this is our first general conference, you must be prepared confidently defend the integrity of the ministry. Nabansagan ang AFC ng erroneous doctrine. Nabansagan, okay lang pastor, ang AFC ng mga angel, angel. Yes, bago ko lumipat dito mga kapatid, I heard from other people, I will say this ALJC, na si Pastor Roni daw, halilu, ito angel, angel. But I don't rely to the source of that pastor from U.S. I rely on prayer, con asking the Lord, the conviction of the Holy Ghost, waiting for the sign. At hindi po ako nagkakamali sa aking decision because the perfect one that you consulted is a perfect one, kapatid. And that is our all mighty God. Hallelujah. Kaya sabi ni Apostle Paul in 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 12 I am not ashamed for I know whom I have believed and am persuaded. Wala ko hindi ko kinahilya ang ating pastor kahit negatibo man ang aking nadidinig sa kanila. Hindi ko kinahilya ang aking pastor although he is not a graduate of Bible school pero nakikita ko na he is a man of God then I will give him the full sir, persuasion kapatid. Kaya ikaw ay madaming question. Madaming doubt. You are free to live. Kung ikaw ay natutuda pa pwede ka umalis ngayon na. So do not stay in the ministry if you have a lot of questions in your mind. Amen. Dalawa lang ang sabot. Will you stay or will you leave right now? 
Kasi sa loyalty, kapatid, kung 99.9% lang ang iyong persuasion, umalis ka. You're not, you're not fit in the ministry of our Christ. Kasi mismo sabi ni Jesus, in Matthew chapter 12, verse 13, He that is not with me is against me. Ginalibak ang pastor mo? Patalikod, pastor mo, ginalibak ako. Dupata ang pastor mo, yan ang mga negatibo na sinasabi mo, then you better leave the church. Wala po pinagkaiba na sinasabi ni Jesus Christ, kung against ka sa akin, then you are not my people. If you are against with my vision, you're creating your own vision. Ang vision ng pastor, so winning and discipleship. But yung vision mo is business. Then, get out. Because he that is not with me is against me. Yun ang sabi ng ating Panginoon. At hindi po pwede dito ang neutral, kapatid. Ibig sabihin ng neutral, ah, sige lang ah, 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 magpaging fair lang tayo ah. Pwede na na, 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 na iwas tayo sa issue. Iwas tayo sa, sa gulo. Ahimik na lang tayo. Okay lang kay pastor, basta si sister, okay lang, butante, na, 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 andito, hindi, hindi siya aalis. Again, kapatid, hindi po pwede yun. Hindi po pwede yun, kapatid. We cannot serve two masters, kapatid. You must know what to stand for you and you must be prepared to die for it. Ibig sabihin, ready ka wala na bisan sa bitbit ang kamatayon, masunod ka, mag-aalagad ka, kasama ang iyong pastor, habang buhay ang iyong pastor, until that, are you willing to serve? Baka iba sa inyo dito, ginagawa lang option ang ministry. Habang hindi pa nakapunta ng US, dito mo na ako. Pero parang araw, pag may passport na ako, pag may visa na ako, babay huyo, pastor. Baka isa sa inyo dito, hallelujah, dahil wala pang trabaho, full time ang paggawa, ang pagtrabaho sa church. Ngayon may posisyon na, na-promote na, hallelujah, naging regular na, babay huyo, pastor. Again, kapatid, hallelujah, bisan ka ibut-ibut na ang iyong pastor. Bisan hindi nakalakat ang iyong pastor. Kung naging loyal ka na, are you willing na bisan tuluan ang iyong matay sa muli? Tuktor mapatay ang pastor. Are you there for him? Loyalty demands persuasion. Kapatid. Number two. Pangalawang lesson about loyalty na dapat matutunan natin sa umangin ito. Your loyalty must be to the higher authority. That this is the general conference. We compose of eight churches, and then the word higher authority that refers to our senior pastor. And then, dahil sa ating system sa AFC Church. We have the general overseer, yung pinaka head, and we believe that is Pastor Ronald Janino. Can you please stand, our general overseer? Palapakan po natin ang ating general overseer. Praise God, please be seated. Thank you. And then, meron po mga local pastors from Surabay, from Hinubaan, from Mulabog, Upper Mabini, from Antique, Sweet Chulupa, Hallelujah. And then, these are the eight churches. Again, kapatid, if we will not study this, ito po, kadalasan ang mga issue sa bawat organization na pag lumaki na ang isang local church, hallelujah, nagiging supreme, nagiging uh, nagkaroon na kung si pastor, na dinig ko may brother Norman na, ano yung pastor ba yun, na meron ng electric fan yung ulo. <laughs> so again, in a large organization, Like the church, mga mega church, or like example the UPC or other apostolic church, na malalaki talaga. Again, meron talaga ng leader. And in our 
status right now, right now, we have the general overseer. Again, pag merong pastor, hallelujah, na nais na, na to adopt the nature of Satan, yun na lang. Because they as uh, Satan, before his name is Lucifer, when you say Lucifer, a beautiful name, a name with the beauty of holiness, pero merong, merong li, lima doon na, that the Lord found out that he wanted to rule over the God. Sabi niya, I will ascend, I will ascend, gusto kong lapawan, gusto kong lapawan. Pag meron po dito sa atin ng pastor, na nais mag-ipag-competition sa ating general overseer, na nais na nai-lapawan ang general overseer, again, alam po natin, kapatid, pag we'll do that, if we practice that not in a, in a godly way, or godly system, then that nature, that behavior, we will adopt from Lucifer. Naintindihan po ba? So again, pag meron po na administrate yung church, again, automatic yung pastor, hallelujah, itipunin ang mga members tataniman ang mga negatibo against the general overseer. Kawawa ang general overseer. And then, lahat hahatakin, praise God, Pero kung ikaw ay merong loyalty, again, if you have this loyalty, if you felt and realized that your local pastor is against the will of God, kung hindi sa kalooban ng ating Panginoon, then your loyalty must be to the higher authority. Naintindihan ko ba natin, kapatid? Pag ang pasto ay nagturo sa'yo ng rosaryo, nagturo sa'yo ng ibang doktrina, Trinitarian doctrine, huwag kang sumama since alam mo. Since you heard, since you knew the truth, then your loyalty must be to the higher authority. Amen to that. Ngayon, sino ang aking susundin? My local pastor or my senior pastor. Because there is a verse here in 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 1 na sabi ni Apostle Pablo, he says, Follow my example as I follow the example of Christ. Follow me as I follow Christ. If your local pastor is still following Christ, you have to give the 100% persuasion and your loyalty to your local pastor. If your local pastor is submissive to the general overseer, kapatid, and, and, and obedient and following Christ, follow him. Naintindihan. But if your pastor, local pastor, is no longer a follower of Christ, for example, committing fornication, committing adultery, committing unclean things, kapatid, do not follow, mga kapatid. Palapakan natin ang ating Panginoon. So this is one of the issues when it comes to loyalty, mga kapatid. Ngayon, ikatakdo, I believe I have a lot of time here because I have one hour and 30 minutes. Pasa lecture po, again, alam po sanay kayo dahil lahat, kadala, uh, karamihan sa inyo dito are mga students. Kahit apat na oras, you will be able to sit and listen. But I only require one hour and 30 minutes. Amen to that. Palapakan natin si Lord Jesus Christ. Thirdly, a loyal person does not withhold information. Ulitin ko. Ang loyal na tao does not withhold information. The word withhold information please eyes on the screen. Basahin niyo po. Ibig sabihin, you refuse to give information. Withhold information, ibig sabihin, you suppressed 
or hold back an emotion or reaction. Alam niyo mga kapatid, fellow pastors, the arrest of the brethren here of Apostolic Fire Church. Hallelujah. A loyal person, makinig po, is open to his senior pastor about whatever is going on. Pag ikaw ay very open sa iyong pastor, we could say that you are a loyal person. Pag may tinatago ka sa iyong pastor, hindi ka loyal. Kasi ang pinakamasakit po sa lahat, ang pinakahuling taong nakaalam ng problema mo ay iyong pastor. At ang pinakaunang taong nakaalam ng iyong problema ay iyong kumare na si Marisol at si Marites. Amen. Amen. Kaya, pag ikaw ay open, hallelujah, to your senior pastor, then you can say that you are a loyal person. Pastor, loyal ako. Pero nagat lang man, nagkabog yung mga usong, huli na kamaan si pastor. So, we consider that someone loyal if he tells about corruption that is taking place. Kung meron pong mga, mga bagay na hindi kaaya-aya sa church, pag hindi mo tinatago at sinasabi agad ang information, then we can say that you are a loyal person. All right, continue. So again, there are several examples of people in the Bible not been holding information. Lahat po ng mga lesson dito sa loyalty, there is a biblical reference. Hindi po tayo pwede magturo dito na walang, walang uh, biblical reference. Kasi kailangan ang loyalty po dapat itong subject na ito dapat may pasan natin. Kaya, sinulat ni Apostle Pablo, Apostle Paul wrote this in the book of Corinthians, 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 1, that it is reported commonly that there is a fornication among you. So when Apostle Paul uh, visited the church of Corinth, the church of Corinth, Corinthians, Alam po natin na ang Corinthians ay isa sa pinaka malawak at malaking church sa panahon nila. And we believe that they have many teachers. If I'm not mistaken, they have 15,000, 10,000 teachers, kapati. AFC Church, sa Antique, we only have three teachers. Dito sa main, how many teachers do you have, Pastor? Isa lang ang teacher. And then, uh, I mean, isa, hindi kayo mga nagtuturo sa Sunday school. Okay, alright. For dito sa AFC Church, sa kabuhan, we have one ordained, ordained teacher, and that is Teacher Vincent. Teacher Vincent. Pero itong, itong Church of Corinthians, Church of Corinth, they have 10,000 teachers. So in short, napakalawa ng kanilang ministry. And then, and then there is a report na na napaabot or na, na ipaabot kay Apostle Paul. And it says, it is reported. Everyone say reported. So you notice here that Paul did not have a word of knowledge about the extent of immorality. Ibig sabihin, wala siyang kaalam-alam na meron na, meron na nagaganap na immorality or fornication sa kailang ministry. Subalit, nalaman niya ito when someone came to him and gave a report. Naiintindihan. So, a good and loyal structure works by faithful people who inform the top, the top, yun po, ang ating general overseer, about anything that is out of order. 
Pag ikaw mo ay nabibigay ng report direkta sa iyong leader, pag merong mga hindi ka na-stacks na nangyari sa church, direkta agad, then you can, you can say that you are a lawyer. Kasi minsan sa church, ayaw ko magsumbo, baka mag-away kami. Ayaw ko pasabihan si pastor, baka mamadamay ako. Ayaw ko magsabihan si pastor, dahil ayaw ko ng gulo. You are not a lawyer person. Ayaw ko sumali dyan, ayaw ko mag-involve dyan kasi, kasi sakit sa ulo. You are just like Judas the Iskandar who has come. Again, hallelujah, we don't have to withhold information. Lahat ang sabi nyo, do not withhold information. So in 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 11, for it had been declared, sabi ng Apostle Paul, look at the screen, declared unto me of the house of glory that there are contentions. So ibig sabihin, yung nag-report kay Apostle Paul is Chloe. Si Chloe ang lumapit kay Apostle Paul na, Apostle Paul, meron po dito nagaganap na fornication, meron po dito nagaganap na, na problema sa Church of Corinth. Pero actually, Apostle Paul, even though he is anointed and he is apostle, walang kalamalam. But because someone reported and came to him and her name is Chloe, dun po, it was declared. When you say declared, gin pa madulaan. Proven na tama yung, yung report na binigay ni Chloe. So again, kapatid, such reporting leads to the edifying of the church. Ano ibig sabihin niya? Pag ito ay iyong ginawa, if you will do this in your church, don't think na marites ka. Don't think na marisol ka. Pag may tao na sabi sa iyo, Pastor Ken, ikaw lang ako na wala sa niha. Ay man, ay man, ano nga Pastor, hindi gusto pagkatuan, pag, 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 pero ikaw lang katuan ng Pastor Ken. Kung pwede, hindi mo ni palagot ni Pastor Ron, ni Pastor Ken, amo ni. Again, if someone is speaking against your pastor, kapatid, hallelujah. Again, the Bible says in the book of Proverbs, the Lord wind drive it away to rain. Anong ibig sabihin niya? Yung rain po, yun po ang mga negatibo na tinatapon sa church. Yun po ang mga negatibo, persecutions against the church. Yung Lord wind, ikaw. And how to be a Lord wind? Of course, pag may tao na sasabi na negatibo sa iyong pastor, huwag kang maging isang doble tara. Oo, sister. O tama, doble tara. Oo, sister. Donate sa amo, sa amo ng church. Again, kapatid, hallelujah, this is the reality. I will speak this boldly because I am dealing about loyalty, kapatid. Pag meron ganyan, don't be afraid to report directly to your pastor because it is against the ministry. Amen. I don't care kung sabihin ka, dapat hindi mo sinabi, dapat tinago mo lang. Again, pag ginawa mo yun, you are not a loyal person. Amen. Naintindihan po ka natin. Amen. Hindi ka loyal pag tinatago mong information, lalo na pag pastor ang ginalibak. Hindi ka loyal, hallelujah, pag tinatago mong information na feeling safe ka lang, lalo na pag ang church mo ay sinisira. Hindi ka loyal, kapatid, na lalo na pag lumapit ang sister mo. Hallelujah. Sabihin ganito, dapat all information when it comes to church must be reported. Why? Why? Lahat masabing why? Gusto niyo malaman? Again, meron tayong business. Ang business natin, this is the church business. Hindi po pwede, kapatid, hallelujah, na meron pong disloyal spirit sa church na ito. Hindi po pwede, kapatid, hallelujah, na meron disloyal spirit sa church na ito. It will church the AFT church. We will promote the culture of allegiance. We will promote the culture of loyalty. Pag hindi ka loyal, automatic ka, of ka, takas ka, agwa ka, layas ka. Saya na pag-stay mo dito kung disloyal ka. Saya na pag-upo mo dito kung disloyal ka, umanis ka. Kaya, do not withhold information. Young people love life, then open to the pastor. 
Huwag yung mga ninong o ninang o mga marites. Yung pastor ang dapat maunang makakalam. Family members, buong pamilya, yung pastor, alam dapat ang information. Even pastors, local pastors, have your strength, your weakness, be open to your pastor. Kasi pag hindi tayo yung open, maraming pastor ang nalalaglag at the backside nowadays because isa po ang problema, withholding information. Pag naging honest ka, pastor, ito po yung weakness ko, hallelujah, that he will give you the knowledge He will give you the wisdom na galing sa ating Panginoon. And you will be saved, kapatid. Mas mayat pa ka una, mas maayaw pa ka una kung katulik ko ikaw. May problema ka, add ko ka sa kwarto, sa my room. Father, ang muna yung problema ko, I confess, I confess. Ba't di yan gawin ngayon? Amen. Amen. Nasa tao. Paglapit nyo, Pastor, Pastor, hindi ka mag-pray ng Amen na sampung beses, kundi you will speak in tongues, you will be revived, you will receive the knowledge and wisdom from the man of God. Praise the Lord. Lesson four. Loyalty is based on principle not on emotions. Napakandang topic po. Long loyalty, yung loyalty, ay binabase sa prinsipyo, hindi sa emotion. So when we define principle, it means a fundamental truth or proposition that serves as the foundation for a system or belief or behavior or for a chain of reasoning. Emotions, ang pinakaiba ko ng principle at saka emotions, ulitin ko, please, eye on the screen para maintindihan ang lahat. Okay, later na pagsulat. Ibig sabihin, yung feeling ng principle, it is a fundamental truth or proposition. Kumbaga, you are standing on the truth. Nagatindog ka sa kamaturan. Ang imong uh, na ipinagalaban ay yung katotohanan. Amen to that. Amen. Compared to emotions, the meaning of emotions is it is a natural instinctive state of mind deriving from one's circumstances, mood, or relationship with others. Anong ibig sabihin niya? For example, because you are my brother, di ba, usually ang bansag sa mundo na A family is thicker than blood. But that is, blood is thicker than water. Amen. So yun ang sabi na, yung family daw, yung blood is thicker than water. Ngayon, sa lesson na ito, rumpago na ito. Huwag masakin natin. Pag ang pamilya mo ay against the will of God, Forget about the emotions and stand on the principle of the But a man I know is against the will of God or your calling. Stand on the principle. Stand on the principle and follow Jesus. And deny your mother. Deny your father. Deny your sister. Deny your boyfriend. Deny your girlfriend. Deny your confessor. Brother, may next sure tayo, 9 o'clock ngayong gabi. Yes, Pastor. Wala pang 9 o'clock online na, Pastor. Nakaprepare na. Pagpatak ng 9 o'clock, 5 minutes. Pastor, sakit lang. Dahil nais ng aking kuya na pupunta kami doon sa samahan ko lang sa glit. After one hour, bumalik, kawawa ang pastor, nag-aral, nag-prayer, nag-fasting, naka-ready, lahat, 
after one hour, hindi lang one hour, alas on na, kapatid. And then reason, kasi si kuya, ganyan, kasi si kuya, makamagal. Again, kapatid, kahit kuya mo yan, pag ang Panginoon ay nag-set ng appointment na mag-aaral, nine of luck is nine of luck. Extend on the principle. Forget about your brother. Forget about your brother. Your family. Go with Lord Jesus Christ. Pag sinabing general conference, iwan muna ang mga dawain sa bahay. Emotions din yan, kapatid. Kasi, if you focus on your emotions with your feelings, with your internal organs, kasi as a human being, we have three compositions. We have the body, we have the soul, and we have the spirit. The body, that is the sense of, uh, of smell, sense of hearing, sense of seeing, sense of touch. Hallelujah. Yung heart, ganyan. Sense of feeling. If we will rely if we will rely on our emotions, hindi ka na makakapunta ng church. Hindi ka na makaka, makapagpuri sa Panginoon dahil may nararamdaman ka. But I was perfectly amazed with this women bleeding for 12 years. That the Bible declared that she was bleeding for 12 years and when she heard the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, ginkamang niya, nanokdok siya sa crowd, and then she told herself, if I will touch the, the hem, the garment of Jesus Christ, then I shall be healed. Amen. Nothing is impossible with Christ. Amen. Because the sanctuary of Christ is a place of healing. You could receive healing. You could receive miracles. Amen to that. Talapakan natin ang ating Panginoon. If you want to die on your emotions, lalo na may karamdaman ka kapatid, hallelujah, again, you are not loyal to the Lord. Kahit may sakit ka, I don't care anong kasi sakit yan. Yung sakit mo compared to the woman bleeding for 12 years, pansit na. But this woman bleeding for 12 years, crowd, mas madami pa sa black na sarili mo, sa kiyapo. Nanoktok, nanoktok, sumingit, pagtando, heal instantly. Yes. Hallelujah. If you are loyal to God, I don't care kung the bleeding ka, I will go there. Of course, if you are loyal, 100% persuasive to Christ, no matter how many crowd is, if you are loyal, then the Lord Kaya maraming tao ang cooperate by feelings and emotions rather than setting of principles. Dapat dito tayo, kapatid, we stand on principles. Pag sinabi yung general confidence, next year, automatic na yan, kapatid, hallelujah, by faith, faith with action, nakaready na yan, kapatid. Minsan ang reason, wala, alangayan, ala, emotions! No faith! Pag loyal ka, kapatid, all means you will do for the Lord. Yeah. And decisions, kadalasan is based on emotions rather than principles. And principles are not, are, 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 are not substantial. Napakalungkot po, kapatid. Ngayon, if you decided if you have decided ngayon to belong to something that you must make your decision based on principles and not on feelings, then you will stay longer in this church. Kung nakapag-desisyon ka ngayon, hallelujah, nasa iyong loyalty is not on emotions but my principle. Pastor, gusto ko maging pastor. Agali, gari ka. Bunyagi bilog Libot ka 360 degrees Balik niwa bunyagi Five times a day Magmawal ka Darugi mga ito Pati ito sa piyak Pastor ang hirap din kapatid If you will stand on principle 
goes again. Hallelujah. I know this is just a test. I know this is just a lesson. I will endure hardness because I am a good soldier of Christ. For emotions lang. Pulit ka natin, Brano. At trust ka natin, Brano. Kaaway mo na ang pastor. Negatibo na ang pastor. Manipulator na ang pastor. Abusive na ang pastor. Dumarsyalo. Pero ikaw, reklamado. Kaiman you stand on emotions, not on principles, kapatid. Your experience compared to the soldiers in the Old Testament, wala po sa kalintingan nila. Your experience, namundang na yan. Wala po sa experience ng mga, ng mga time in Jesus Christ na pinapakain sa Leon. Nag-worship sa kweba, kapatid. Kahit mahina, they don't care because they stand on principles kahit pakainin ng Leon. Okay lang. Church of Smyrna, suffering church. I don't care. Okay lang. Because all they care is even if they will die, their names will still be written in the book of life. Ngayon, alam niyo po ang Church of Smyrna sa Book of Revelation. They, they became, uh, they suffered a lot. And then, sa panahon nila, they became famous because ang kanilang trending is the perfume which is uh, Smyrna. O sa ato, ang trending subong yung iPhone Pro Max. Sa panahon nila, it is the fragrance Smyrna. Kung wala kang ganyan, hindi ka tingin. And sa panahon nila, mga kapatid, pag wala kang ganun, outcast ka. Pero ang mga Christians noon, ang apostolic noon, I could say apostolic because they're baptized in Jesus' name, they receive the Holy Ghost. They're being cast out because ayaw nilang bumili or makipagsabayan sa, sa trending at meron po doon isang market na, 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 na kailangan pag bumili ka dyan you could avail all the privileges pero pag hindi ka bumili I mean, is pag bumili ka dyan you could avail all the privileges but in one condition you're, you're going to deny your faith. You're not going to worship the one true living God. Kasi ang mga apostolic, alam po natin, right, right now, alam po natin na nagrabi po sila sa pagdating sa pagkuburi sa ating Panginoon. At sa panahon nila, they don't want them na, na, na magsasamba sa ating Panginoon. Kaya nangyari po because they cannot be able to 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 apply or at least to avail these privileges, nagiging kawawa po sila, mga kapatid. Ulti mong pagkain, bibili ng pagkain, hindi kayang gawin. Ulti mo na, na, na makipag-trade or business, hindi pwede because ayaw nila makipag-get involved sa system ng sphere na dati. So, ibig sabihin, they stand on their principles. Di bali magutman, di bali hindi makakaon, importante hindi lang ang pabawalan na magsimba sa akong Diyos. Yun po sila noon. Yun po sila noon. And it was reported that the Church of Smyrna pinakain sa mga leon alive. At habang tumatagal at tumatagal because they stand on principle, not on emotions, their fragrance, the fragrance of suffering, lalo silang humakalimuyak sa pangamoy ng ating Panginoon. Kaya ibig sabihin, kapatid, if you will stand on principle, not on emotions, you will have the fragrance of suffering na lalo kang humabamo sa pangamoy at panglasa ng ating Panginoon. Kapatid. Di ba 
Ibig sabihin ng it will cost you, lahat ng sabi, it will cost you. Ibig sabihin, it will lose something good or valuable. Or, it will cost you means, uh, it, it will cost you means, it is very expensive. Ibig sabihin, yung loyalty ko kapatid ay napakamahal. Napaka-expensive! Magkano ka? Magbigti. <laughs> so everything has a price. Lahat ko ay may presyo. Tama ko ba? Registration nyo, 100, 150. O tama, 50 nga. 50 sa yan, 30 sa kids. Education has a price. Wala kang pera, hindi ka makapagkapos. That's the reality. Even your salvation has a price. Akala mo libre lang? Ang kaluwasan? Hindi po pera ang katapat sa kaluwasan. May, may bayad po yun. May presyo po yun. So the Bible says, that we are both with a price. Ikaw ay pinili. Ikaw ay may presyo. May presyo, hindi ka mumurahin. Kasi kung mumurahin ka, talagang mumurahin ka talaga. Pero ikaw ay mamahalin. Kasi kung mamahalin ka, talagang mamahalin ka talaga pa rin. So to be loyal to someone, it means you cannot be loyal to everyone. Yeah. Alam niyo po ba, to be loyal to someone, kung loyal ka sa pastor mo, hindi po pwede maging loyal ka sa lahat. Kung loyal ka sa pastor mo, hindi po pwede loyal ka sa general overseer ng UPC. Kung loyal ka po sa pastor Joey, hindi pwede na loyal ka sa ibang pastor sa sagay. Kung pastor mo si Pastor Ronnie, hindi pwede sa ibang pastor ka maging loyal. Kung may problema ka, huwag ka mag-defeat ng ibang pastor. Kasi mamahalin ka, kung mamahalin ka, mas mamahalin ang alagad ng Diyos. E para ginisuto mo ang Diyos na mamahalin siya, pumili ka pa ng ibang produkto na meron ka ng produkto na nakalaan na galing sa Diyos. So loyalty will cost you relationship and friendship. Ulitin ko. May mga best friends tayo. May mga boyfriend at girlfriend tayo. May mga fiancé tayo. May mga negosyo tayo. May mga expensive tayong hinahawakan na nagtitulo ng lupa. Kotse, manggad, lahat. Sana all. Sana all daw. <laughs> Pero tandaan kapatid, dapat, okay lang yan na meron ka negosyo. Okay lang na meron ka mga ganyan na hawak. Pero ang napakalaga, yung loyalty natin, hallelujah, dapat bigyan ng malaking importansya na hindi pwedeng palitan, hallelujah, and that should be maintained. Hallelujah. And that is our loyalty must be to our Lord Jesus Christ. Paano mo sabi loyal ka Jesus Christ kung sa pastor kung ika loyal? Ephesians 4.11 The foundations of the church. Wala pa rito ang ating Panginoon. But in spirit He is here. I mean is wala pa yung second coming ng ating Panginoon. And then taking in charge of this ministry are the 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 the, the, the fivefold ministry: the pastors, the evangelists, the teachers, the apostles, the prophets. The fivefold ministry. Hallelujah! Pag hindi ka loyal sa kanila, how could you say that you're loyal to Christ? Tama po ba? Ngayon, loyalty will cost you relationship and friendship. Ibig sabihin, kailangan mamili po tayo, kapatid. You have to choose. Amen. 
Ngayon, sa school kasi, lalo na sa mga estudyante, sila lahat mga students dito, please raise your hand. Amen. Let's clap our hands to Jesus. Thank you. Friend, ito na uso ngayon. Ang ganda ng color, lavender na lipstick, sige na. Kahit konti lang, lipstick, sige na. Wala, baka si pastor, wala nga si pastor, sige lang, baka si pastor, ganda na guy, konti. Again, kapatid, kung takot ka mawala ang best friend mo, kung takot kang bansaga na buki-buki ang mga apostolik, ang papangit ng mga babae na apostolik, Hallelujah, you are not loyal, kapatid. Di ba rin magalit ang mga friend mo na ayaw mo mag-lipstick, ayaw mo sumabay sa mga board? Ang importante, kapatid, you will please the one true living God. You will obey God better than your friends. Kaya pag ikaw ay sumunod ni Cristo, automatic yan lahat ng mga friends mo na makamundo, mawawala talaga yan. Huwag kang manginayang. Kaya sabihin mo number one supporter kaya sa church. Kung hindi nila ito obey sa iyo, kapatid, huwag kang manginayang na mawala sa church. Ang importante, kapatid, you will stand on the principle. Hallelujah, you have to choose. Choose God. Obey God. Please God. Preach the truth. Preach the hardness. Para mabago ang tao. Ayaw magpaturo. Ayaw magpakorek. Huwag kang matakot kung mananong support. Choose to be who you are. The Lord designed you to be a fearless rebuker. Maintain the standard of this church. I don't care if you're a billionaire to change the doctrine. You have to choose and stand on the principle. Pagilita. Pero kung ikaw galaga sa kwarta, galaga sa lupa, had to come to that, then wala ang loyalty sa Panginoon. Kasi number one, yung, yung obligasyon ng tao preacher is to correct, to rebuke, and to instruct righteousness. Yeah. Yung pera ang hawak nila, mas mayaman ang ating Panginoon. Yeah. Yeah. Tested and proven, he did that joke. He give it, he take it, and then he return back several quotes. Amen. Kaya napaka-expensive ng loyalty. Kung meron kang relationship that you are living in fornication, you have to cut it off and be loyal to God, kapatid. If you are living in a relationship, hallelujah, na hindi makasal, kapatid, you have to believe that it will cost you everything. Kaya ka mahal eh. Mamahalin ka talaga. Pag ginawa mo yan, kapatid, mamahalin ka talaga ng ating Panginoon. Pagpapalain ka talaga ng ating Panginoon. Palapakan natin ang ating Panginoon. Praise God. Hallelujah. Pastor, gusto ko dito sa, sa, sa New York. But the Lord said, you will be here. This is your ministry. Sayang, Pastor. Pero the Lord declared, here. Ang dami ng sa it will cost you everything, kapatid. Amen. Kaya, kung talagang susunod ka sa Panginoon, handa ka bang iwan mo lahat, lahat, para sa Diyos. Kasi ang salvation na nakalaan sa iyo, if you remain loyal, hindi po ordinary mo. Hindi po pipitsukin. Hindi po siya 5 billion pesos or 5 billion dollars. Dahil yung pera na yun ay nasusunog. Hindi po yung ginto dito sa mundo na lahat po ay masusunog. Heaven and earth shall pass away. But His word shall never pass. In the book of Revelation, called, chosen, faithful, ang criteria. Lahat tayo tinawag, lahat tayo chosen, pero marami po bagsak sa faithfulness. 
pag ipasa mo to, pag naipasa mo yung faithfulness, kapatid, automatic you will inherit the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. And that is the prize reward you will receive. Amen. Amen. Alam po natin yan. Kaya, sabi dito sa book of James, chapter 4, verse 4, Whosoever therefore will be afraid of the world is a friend of the world is the enemy of God. Kaya kung ikaw pa rin ay meron pang mga friends sa world, ang world po ay last of the eye, last of the flesh, and the pride of life, kaaway ka ng Panginoon. Pag hindi mo pa kaya ng iwan, kapatid, hallelujah. You are not loyal to God. Yun pong ibig sabihin ng loyalty para malaman ng lahat. Pag lahat po ay the give up na, na surrender na, then you are a friend of God. Kaya sabi ni Jesus Christ, if you are against me, you are not my people. But if you will abide in me, and I will abide in you. And there is a promise. You will bear fruits, 30 folds. 100 folds, 60 folds. Amen to that. Kaya sabi ni Jesus Christ para malaman na lahat, Luke 14, verse 26, If any man come to me and he not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sister, yea, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. Kung hadlok ka sa imong nanay, tatay, kag wala ka na hadlok sa imong pastor, wala ka na hadlok sa mga instruction sa katong ginoo, hindi ka disciple. Disciple, it means iba po yung member at sa disciple. Iba po yung pastor na title at sa disciple. Yung pastor dapat maging disciple din. As a meaning of disciple, you take up your own cross, you deny yourself, alam po natin yan. Kaya if you are not ready to surrender everything, take up your own cross, kahit magulang mo yan, kapatid, handa mong, handa mong iwan kung again sa kaoban ng ating Panginoon. And, and what I'm telling is, we respect our mom and dad, our parents, our brothers and sisters, we love them. Pero pag bungko na sa kaoban ng ating Panginoon, you will stand on the principle of Christ. Dapat yung loyalty po natin kay Kristo, not with them. And if you do that, if you choose that, it will cost you everything. Kaya expensive po ang loyal. Alam mo mga testimony dito na na natinig ko. Di ba rin yung magsak sa klase importante, hindi ako magsak sa Panginoon. Pero mas maganda na hindi ka magsak sa klase at hindi ka rin magsak sa ating Panginoon. Para pa ka natin ang ating Panginoon. Praise God. Kaya isa sa mga example in 1 Samuel chapter 20 verse 32 to 33. Hallelujah. And Jonathan answered Saul his father and said unto him, Wherefore shall he be slain? What he hath done? And Saul cast a javelin at him. Ibig sabihin, sabi ni Saul kay Jonathan, anak na si Jonathan, patsyon mo si David. Tama po ka. But Jonathan didn't follow or obey his father kasi alam ng mali. Nagalit yung ama. Kaya nangyari dito, hallelujah, itinapon ni Saul yung spear kay Jonathan. So there is a danger yung buhay ni Jonathan ay nasa peligro pero wala siyang pakialam ang importante. Hindi niya sinunod yung balik awot or tigro na pag Amen to that. Kaya, kung mali po, if not the will of God, hallelujah, stand on the principle, di ba rin mawala siya, di ba rin magalit siya, di ba rin masaktan siya, ang importante, hindi ko pa rin masaktan ang ating Panginoon. Di ba rin mga si Master Church as a school, importante, hindi mga ako rin 
And number six, loyalty may cost you physical things. It may cost you physical things. Ibig sabihin, the word physical things, ito po yung mga ari-arian, kotse, bahay, property, career, at alam ko rito, nas, isa sa inyo dito is a former Sumba dancer. Nadinig ko lang yan. Pero pinagpalit ng career, ngayon nakapalda na. Yes. Dahil kailangan maiklis ang ating Panginoon. Yes. Ang iba dito sa inyo ay they gave up their own profession para maging full time sa ating Panginoon. So, it happened po kay Moses in the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 24 to 25, na si Moses, yung Bible na turo sa atin, he became a man, he had to choose between being loyal to God or to Pharaoh. So, namili po si Moses kung kanino po siya pwede maging loyal, either sa Panginoon or sa Pharaoh. So, his loyalty to God cost him everything. Yung pagkaloya, yung pagpili sa Panginoon, hallelujah, it cost him everything. Bakit po ba? Kasi si Moses, he is destined to become the next prime minister of Egypt. Ibig sabihin, siya ang papalit sa may pinakamataas na posisyon sa buong Egypt. Imagine that. Parang ikaw din na... Uh, okay. Thank you for that. To Egypt, okay. Pero, ang nangyari is, mas pinili niya, hallelujah, his loyalty cost him his citizenship, his passport, and his royal status. And he lost it all because of Christ. Di ba, hindi ka maging presidente ng Pilipinas, ang importante, you have a passport and citizenship in heaven and a follower of Christ. Yun po ang loyalty, kapatid. Kung alam mo, trabaho mo na hinto ka sa ministry, iwan mo yan, doon ka sa ministry na you will receive the citizenship, the citizenship in heaven. Eh, Pastor, doon yari ang tanong, mabakstay ka dyan. Go to the U.S.A. But By faith, Moses, when he was come to years, is that no? Refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God. Mas pinili niya yung kapitian sa mga tao ng Diyos kesa sa physical things na karangyaan o kayamanan. Di bali, wala kasunod ka ng pastor. Bayaran sa mga ng members. Ang importante, tatlo ang imo pagto. Tatlo ang imo doktrina. You stand on the principle. And lastly, Hallelujah. loyalty demands analysis. Ibig sabihin kung sa mga science, kung sa mga research, percent your, 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 your research or your 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 thesis, meron pong analysis of variance. Ibig sabihin how how reliable, how 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 credible yung mga yung mga nasubmit mo na research topic or thesis. Ganon din po sa akin sa loyalty. At hindi ko na po na ito panatagaling again. Kaya tayo merong Holy Ghost. Dahil yung Holy Ghost yun ang ating mentor. Yun ang nag-justify sa atin. Yun ang ating teacher, kapatid. Kaya whatever the negative people will say, kung alam mo, anointed ang pastor, sumasama ang Panginoon, huwag mo ipagpapali ang iyong pastor sa ibang pastor. Habang tumikilos ang Diyos, habang buhay ang pastor, huwag na huwag mo ipagpapali. Analysis, alam mo na may lago, na-revive ka, na-revive ka, na-revive ang buong church. Miracle of the Lord. Napakabubo mo. Kung aalis ka, alam mo, nag-move ang Holy Ghost. Nag-move ang Panginoon dahil naka-base ka lang sa iyong emotions. Tama ang tawag doon. 
Wives ang tao na nanatili for being loyal to God. Palapakan natin ang ating Panginoon. Bago mula to sa kapila. If you are not, if you, that those are seven lessons to be loyal. Amen. But if you will remain disloyal, ito po mangyayari. Pag disloyal ka, parang itong sakit. Sa mga bago po, hindi pa nakadinig, para itong sakit. I will make it only for three minutes. Sakit po ito na hindi na para sa diabetes o diabetic ka, konting sugat, lumalaki. Ibig sabihin ng disloyalty opposite to loyalty, state of not being loyal, at meron po siyang eight stages. Magsisimula yan sa independent spirit. Inutusan ka, nagmeron ka sarili desisyon. Inutusan ka, you have your own, your own way. Sabi ng pastor, dito sa kanan, dito ka sa kaliba. Akala mo okay lang. Again, kapatid, wake up, may sakit ka na. Wake up, delikado ka na. Wake up, disloyal ka na. Pag hindi mo naagapan, kapatid, ayaw mo papalik, nasasaktan ka, ayaw mong sumunod, disloyal ka na. Ano mangyayari sa'yo? Sunod niya, lalaki, offense. Ibig sabihin, pag sinabihan ka, nasasaktan ka na. Napitikon ka na. Galit ka na sa pastor. Masama na ang pastor. Masama na ang ministry. Offensive ka na. Ayaw, ayaw mo na tumanggap ng correction. Ayaw mo na tumanggap ng kaikay. Ayaw mo na tumanggap ng counsel because offense second stage. Third is passivity. Dahil nasasaktan ka, ayaw maging involved. I don't want to get involved. But you're there. Present ka, pero ayaw mo po obrin. Amal ka na. Spirit yun. Spirit of laziness. Spirit of passivity, the word passive, passive ka, hindi ka nag cooperate And what will happen? Fourth stage, critical ka na. Kung sa cancer, critical ang umbrati ang doon. Ibig sabihin, update great count is, hallelujah, lahat na mali, nagkita mo, walang tama sa pastor, walang tama sa church, puro mali, critical eh. And what will happen, kapatid, political stage, bang hihikayat ka, brother, ganyan si pastor, brother, ang sama ng church, brother, ganyan na, pag ang ganyan ang stage mo, kapatid, Puro negatibo, kapag kaya ka, pari alis tayo, di pa tayo ganito. Hatak ko ibang members, political stage, nangyari ko yung Absalom. And the Bible says, Absalom won the heart of Israel. Kawawa ang David na hari. Dahil matanda na si David, pero si Absalom, habang mabasa ang tao, David is sick, David is weak. Again, wag po ka nun, dapat ilip at ang pastor. Wag itadamgay ang pastor. Ilip at ang ministry. And what will happen six stage deception? Yun, tama sabi ni Pastor Richard. Your eyes being closed and you're being deceived. Pag deceived ka na, kahit ilan pang anointed pastor ang mag-a-advise sa'yo, sana ito na. Deceived! Your father is a deceiver. Twist, baliktad na. And then there is an open rebellion. Ikap ito. Rebelde ka na. Harap-harapan. Sinasaktan mo ang pastor mo. Harap-harapan. Sinisira mo ang puri ng church. Harap-harapan. Hallelujah. Wala kang takot sa men of God. You know what? If you are against with the authority, there is danger especially with the Holy Ghost. It will lead to blasphemy of the Holy Ghost. Akala din blasphemy of the Holy Ghost. You will be able to almost speak in touch. Hindi po yun. Pag ikaw ay may Holy Ghost na, ikaw ay baptized na in Jesus' name, and then you experience the goodness of God, the miracles of God, and then you started with independent spirit down to, to, to offense hanggang dumating dito sa open rebellion, kaaway mo ng pastor, against the ministry, then Paul says, examine our heart, exactly reprobates. Ibig sabihin, ginapatig aras ng Diyos ang imo at ipusuon. Ibig sabihin, there is no more chance Oh, blasphemy of the Holy Ghost is unforgiven sin. Mas taayo pa ang nagbaksay, may chance ako malik. Pero ang blasphemy of the Holy Ghost, kapatid, wala na, ito pala wala, ito sa sala. And it will end up to execution. Ang, mapat, pat, ang papatay sa'yo, hindi yung pastor, kundi mismo ang Panginoon na. Absalom died because of being disloyal. 
to our tie because of being this loyal couple. She may die in being this loyal couple. Judas the Iscariot, there is no repentance, only remorse, no repentance. Nangitog siya because of being this loyal kapatid. Judas is crying. And it will feel also kapatid. And also his counselor because of pride. Ayaw tagapin. Nagkamali siya. Yan. Ayaw matapalit. Nagitog din because of being this loyal kapatid. And Lucifer from heaven because of pride, not loyal. He was cast out here on earth and a candidate for the second death, which is the lake of fire. And later on, he will be executed into the lake of fire forever and ever and ever and ever. Kapatid. Kung hindi loyal, akala mo normal na Kaya marami pong Christians na hindi aware na meron palang ganitong klaseng sickness. At maraming Christians na akala na kung lang, baka ito na po, baka ito. Baka ito na ang last mo. The execution. Kung hindi ka magbibigay ng, ng if you not exert full pagbawi or 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 restitution sa ating Panginoon, you will be executed. Again, kapatid, hallelujah, I do hope that this Apostolic Park Church, we will promote the culture of allegiance. Ibig sabihin, there is no room of this loyal spirit in this church. That this church all the people, all the saints have a loyal spirit so that we will be behind of Jesus Christ when he will go here for his second coming. The cold, the chosen, and the faithful ones. The mga saints. Amen. Let's all stand. Praise your name, Father. The King of the Kings, the Prince of Kings, the Council Lord, Hallelujah, the mighty God, Hallelujah, the wonderful name of Jesus Christ, the Alpha and Omega, the faithful God, Hallelujah. I pray that you will protect the words, the seeds into their hearts. I pray, O oh God, Hallelujah, that this church, AFC, Hallelujah, that there is no room for this loyal spirit, O Lord. You are the Prince of Peace, O oh God. In part, the sound mind and peace, the unity, hallelujah, in this church, O oh Lord, that we will be united as one, one spirit, one faith, one baptism, and one Lord, hallelujah. You are the one God, hallelujah, one true living God, Jesus Christ. Bless them in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.